As you know, we have seen a gradual increase in numbers over the last few weeks. This is what we expected. We're not alarmed by it uh, because as people move about and have more contact with one another, the opportunity for disease spread does go up. These numbers have been largely concentrated in our metro areas, and that makes sense because of the population density, but we're also seeing increases, sometimes double-digit increases daily, in rural areas and areas where tourists often visit. In all of this, I'll remind you that we have uh, always had a focus on flattening the curve, which means we want to preserve our hospital capacity uh, in more than anything. It has never been our expectation that we would eliminate uh, case transmission. That's not going to be possible until we have herd immunity. But we can keep an eye in, uh, on hospital capacity and make sure that is preserved for the sickest ones who need that. Our number of hospitalized patients has also grown gradually, but I will note not as, um, not as much as case count has. Our hospitalization rate is lower, uh, and we attribute that uh, in large part to a lower age range of cases that we've had. In the last week or so, we've seen approximately 400 uh, patients hospitalized per day. That's an everyday number, not 400 new ones per day. And although 400 across the state sounds high, I want you to keep that in perspective. That's only about 4% of everybody in the hospital in Tennessee right now is a COVID-related hospitalization. So although we are seeing those numbers increase, it's still very manageable, and we are not in a crisis scenario. As we continue to watch capacity and work with our hospital partners, uh, we uh, keep a close eye on hospital surge plans and what hospitals can do within their walls to take care of an increased patient load if it comes. We also continue to prepare and train for our alternative care sites, uh, both in Memphis and Nashville, in case of a disaster where we have to use that additional capacity. Finally, I want to give you an update on our testing efforts. Uh, we have essentially finished our widespread testing of long-term care facilities. Uh, you'll recall that we have about 700 long-term care facilities across the state, and about 97% of them are complete with their uh, widespread testing of residents and staff. For the remaining uh, couple of dozen, we're working with them uh, to ensure their compliance before the deadline.